Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at The Big Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be analyzing a past year examination question on the topic of matter. I will also include this question to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 27. Rachel bought a glass of drink containing some fruits as shown in the diagram below. She realized that no matter how hard she tried, she could only suck up the water up the straw. However, she was not able to suck the fruits up the straw. So in this question, they want you to explain why was she not able to do so. So to explain this, let's take a look at the first part. How come she was able to suck up the water? Remember, for water, what state of matter does it belong to? Is it a solid, liquid, or gas? Water is a form of liquid. And because it's a liquid, we know that liquids, they do not have a definite shape. And they also have a definite volume. But what property of water allows them to be sucked up the straw? Remember, in order for the water to be sucked up the straw, it must be able to change its shape. And since it was able to change its shape, what property is that? It's because liquids, they do not have a definite shape. So let's write this down. And since they do not have a definite shape, this means that the shape of the water can change. And when the shape of the water can change, this allows the water to flow. And since it was able to flow, it can take the shape of the straw, allowing the water to be sucked up. But now, what about the fruits? How come the fruits cannot be sucked up then? Because remember, fruits, unlike water, is it a liquid? No, it is actually a solid. And because it is a solid, remember, solids, what properties do they have? They have a definite shape and a definite volume. But if you look at the fruits that I am highlighting in yellow, do you think the fruits can be sucked up? No, in order for the fruits to be sucked up the straw, the shape of the fruit must be able to change. But can solids do that? No, and this is because solids, they have a definite shape. And since they have a definite shape, this means are they able to flow? No. So let's write this down. They cannot flow to take the shape of the straw. And this actually prevents her from sucking the fruits up. So with this understanding, we can finally take a look at the options. Let's take a look at option one. They say that the fruits, which is a solid, it can be compressed. Is that true? No, remember, in order for something to be compressed, it must not have a definite volume. But what about solids? Do solids have a definite volume? Yes, and since they have a definite volume, can solids be compressed? No, so this statement is definitely out. Now, what about option two? They said that the fruits have a definite shape. Is that true? Yes, we actually wrote that out earlier. So option two is definitely correct. But let's check the rest of the options. Now, what about option three? They said the straw has no definite volume. Now, first of all, the straw, is it a solid, liquid, or gas? Straws are solids. And solids, do they have a definite volume? Definitely. Which means option three, is this possible? No, so three is out. Lastly, what about option four? They said that the water is going to take up the space inside the straw. Now, is this statement true? Yes, remember water is a form of matter and we know matter is going to take up space. But even though this is true, but does option four explain why she was not able to suck up the fruits? No, it actually does not explain. And since it does not explain, can I choose option 4? No, which means the only possible answer is going to be option 2. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. 
Thank you, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!